What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with, as you can see, a pretty sizable mail day. Uh, first off, we were uh, out and about and eating at a place uh, that the wife found on Groupon, and happened to get in a conversation with uh, the guy at the counter who uh, noticed my hate breed hat. And unbeknownst to me, there was a, a musician in the room, and he came up and he introduced himself and he gave me a couple of these CDs. Uh, first one is this For the Headbangers uh, promotional disc from uh, Napalm Records, and it's it's a local uh, distribution for the uh, the Martyr Group, which is uh, Jamie Josta's imprint. And so on it is uh, bands you've heard of: uh, Agnostic Front, Josta, Cold Chamber, Cavalier Conspiracy, uh, Soil Work, and then you start getting into some more oddball things. If you're from the Northeast, you're probably familiar with Dead by Wednesday. And uh, he is on uh, as part of a group, and he is on this album uh, in the group Fear the Masses, which is this other dealio right here. So this is their uh, their Rise album, and uh, he gave me a copy of that as well. So I'll uh, probably listen to that in the car this weekend. Uh, listen to uh, this one over the last week or so in increments, back and forth to work, and uh, some good stuff. So. Uh, if you uh, would so choose, uh, fear the masses uh, for your musical listening pleasure. On to some cardboard. Uh, as I've said a number of times, I get more bonus extra cards with MMA stuff than anybody else. And uh, with this uh, next card, there's all these, like, he used them as padding, so they're all basically in kind of crap condition. Uh, random commons, maybe some guys you might have heard of. And then right, in, in, in the one in the worst condition is actually a 1994, uh, I'm sorry, 1995 Upper Deck Derek Jeter Star Rookie Card, but it is beat to crap. Uh, PSA would probably laugh at this thing if somebody sent it to him, so uh, that'll, that'll go to somebody eventually. But uh, So the card actually that he was using, all those other cards uh, to pad, uh, there's another one of these uh, 2014 top UFC champions, uh, Uriah Faber, Ruby Parallels. This one is 7 of 8. So I know I've got at least one other and uh, the platinum version of that card, but uh, saw it and picked it up. Uh, another two card Faber lot uh, includes this uh, 2013 Bloodlines Auto. And a 2013 Bloodlines Mini Relic Ruby. A little octagon shaped guy there. And that is one of eight. I like how they put the set names, big bold letters on the back of the, the mem cards anyway. Do well to do that with more of the products. And the final MMA pick up a direct from Tops via eBay, uh, Tops Vault Blank Back, one of one, uh, 2015. Uh, product here, Cowboy Donald Cerrone. He will now finally take a little bit of a break, hopefully get himself 100% healthy, and before getting his title shot against Rafael Dos Anjos. After uh, beating up John the Bull MacDessy, uh, who uh, broke his jaw with a head kick, and did it with a broken rib. So... Uh, which he apparently knew going into the fight that he had. So, Cowboy, Donald Cerrone, Uno, Day Uno. Moving on to Colts pickups. Uh, got the, the PSA graded, and you'll see a little bit more actually BGS graded, but you got the graded Fever here. Uh, 2014 Contenders, uh, Reggie Wayne uh, base card, graded PSA 10. Got that for under $4 shipped. Can't beat it. Uh, two card lot here from 2014 Panini Black Gold. It's the base cards, uh, sort of a silhouette kind of deal uh, out of 199 Andrew Luck. And out of 99, uh, also silhouette base card. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if that he had a 199 version, but uh, Johnny and Ice. If you want to look at some great. Panini Black Gold Breaks. Ricky Rosso is your man. He's pulled some insane stuff out of that product. Uh, 2014 Tops 5 Star on card. Uh, I guess base variant auto of Reggie Wayne. 
boy, this guy likes to sign on card. Because his, his, his signature looks completely different when he's got to smush it down on those stickers. So definitely a, a, a good job there. And the final Colts pickup. Uh, this card was up. It was then looked like it sold, and then it was relisted, and I put the same in, same snipe in both times, and the second time I got it. Uh, 2014, I'm sorry, 2013, uh, Tops Museum Collection uh, Green Base Card Parallel of Andrew Luck. And for those of you who don't know what the color scheme means, that is a one of one. So nice additions to the Colts PC. Moving on to some Huddy. Uh, did get a couple of bonus cards with this first Huddy card. Um, a Kyle Clifford uh, Fleer Showcase Gold. I don't know if damn thing about him. And this uh, 2014 Bowman Chrome 89 throwback uh, sparkly mess of Steven Strasburg. So uh, that'll probably go to my buddy John, and uh, came with the card that I actually purchased, which is uh, 2015 Penny pr uh, Prism, the uh, Jackie Robinson 42 parallel, some blue action in the number 42, and that is four of 42. We'll uh, circle back to that card, that set a little bit later. Uh, 2013 Tops Mini Pink Parallel, Breast Cancer Awareness Pink Parallel, with the new jersey number, 17 of 25. Uh, this is a uh, referral from uh, one of my MMA buddies, uh, and he's on YouTube as well. Go hit him up, uh, DK1, David. Really good dude, really into MMA. Uh, definitely in the TTM scene. Got pages and pages and pages on car combat uh, cardboard of all of his uh, TTM exploits uh, over the years. And uh, if, if it wasn't on a dart night, I might have gone up and, and done some uh, IP uh, MMA acquisitions, but uh, alas, the timing was not meant to be. He saw this card on Twitter, somebody that he follows. I'm not on uh, the Twitter with the hashtags and the at symbols and your 140 characters and, uh, or less. Uh, you know from watching my videos, brevity is not my strong point, so it's probably not going to be the social media forum I would join uh, anyway, but uh, he found it, got uh, in touch with me, gauged interest, got the guy my contact information, emails back and forth, we get a deal done, it uh, never hits uh, eBay or any other form. It is a 2015 Topps Gypsy Queen Mini Red Parallel in a tiny, tiny top loader. And that guy is number one of five. So there we are. A very tough mini parallel. So uh, shout out to David DK1 and uh, Gary, who I will send you this video. Gary, thank you for uh, working with me, negotiating, fair price, great shipping, uh, communications, uh, and the like. Uh, no complaints, no issues, nothing uh, but positive things to say about you, sir. Um, if uh, hopefully you have a YouTube account and uh, you can comment on this video, uh, you didn't put anything in the, uh, in the in the package for me to to show on camera for you, so folks can find you. But uh, I appreciate the deal, sir. And uh, hopefully, if you get something else, Tim Hudson, in the future, yeah. you hit me up. Uh, on to some uh, some other hoodies. Uh, Two thousand uh, one Pacific Private Stock. Uh, game worn patch, so not the jersey, but the patch version. And uh, this card is one of the easier ones from that era to identify potential fraud. Uh, in that uh, it actually reads game worn patch there, whereas a lot of them don't. And so if you've got a, a card from this set and it does not read game worn patch, but it is a patch, 
uh, you might want to consider that that might have been uh, doctored in the aftermarket. Uh, this is one of those, uh, I'm glad I every once in a while search Hudson without Tim and some certain refinements because I would not have found it without this. Uh, I love this, this card and this subset. Uh, 2005 Prime Patches Team Materials, Terrence Long, Ryan Ludwig, Tim Hudson, two color, one color, two color patch. And that is numbered one of 45. Uh, another one from uh, the mid 2000s, uh, 2002, certified fabric of the game. Uh, one of the rare prime uh, parallels. Uh, 11 out of 15 with uh, jersey number cutout. So that is one of the uh, you can you can tell from the picture there that that was derived from the elephant logo patch. And uh, something that I really I think they should do more, and I know Panini does the game dated materials in a couple of their sets, putting an actual image of the uh, memorabilia from which the card was sourced. Great idea. Really should make a push to bring that back. And now the last two are uh, direct purchases from some folks. Um, first one, you know, I do not. They're they're kind of related. So I was looking for any possible channel to find this last card. And in doing so, I started going through a lot of uh, you know, the, the, the eBays, obviously, the COMCs, Sports Card Direct, Beckett Marketplace, and I started branching out through Beckett, Beckett Forums, uh, briefly searched SCF, and I was going to you know, try to involve somebody who's more active on SCF. And then I go on a blowout, and so I'm searching uh, Hudson, Tim Hudson, and I come across this listing from this guy uh, who uh, on eBay and COMC, uh, uh, John goes by, uh, Jonathan goes by uh, Count of Paris, but on, uh, on blowout, uh, Jonathan goes by C-O-E-F-O-R. And uh, Jonathan is active duty military. He uh, this this all went down over Memorial Day weekend. So I'm I'm sitting there chuckling myself, thinking, what better way to honor uh, our nation's veterans than to give them money for stuff? So we worked out uh, a deal, and then he added on to the post with other stuff. And finally, and, and so after that post, which had another card, I finally just said, let me know what all you have of his, and we'll figure it out from there. And uh, immediately, we were very close with pricing. We got it done. Uh, there is one card that was in the deal that I'm not going to show because the person who was going to get it didn't want to have the surprise ruined, but ended up buying this whole group of cards from him. Uh, some uh, different colored refractors from 2014 Bowman Chrome, uh, blue to 250. Uh, two of these uh, bubbly shimmer to 99, uh, 54 and 97. Of 99, and a gold number six of 50. SPX winning materials trios: uh, Jason Giambi, Barry Zito, and Tim Hudson. Little mini napkins. And one of Huddy's first uh, autographs and on card. Uh, this is a 2000 uh, Skybox Autographics. On card, and then the two cards that were actually posted again at, at different intervals, and we worked out uh, terms for them. Uh, both BGS graded and uh, interesting cards to choose to get graded. Uh, 2012 Bowman Chrome Orange Refractor BGS nine, uh, centering nine, edges eight and a half, corners nine, surface nine. And that one is 18 of 25. And I'm sure I have uh, that card, but obviously uh, not uh, BGS graded. And then I'm going to do a slighty slider root here. And uh, this one is a 2013 Topps Tribute uh, on-card autograph. Uh, this is the like the base autograph. 
uh, BGS 9 with a 10 auto subgrade, subs of uh, centering 9, edges 9.5, corners 9, surface 9.5. So uh, half, I, I believe the criteria would be half grade off of a 9.5 uh, gem mint. This was not one of the uncirculated years. So, and that is uh, 28 of 99. So, Jonathan, I appreciate it, sir. Uh, great job with, with negotiations, providing tracking. Uh, I did not initially realize that you were active and on the base, and then we had to factor in the military PO uh, lag time with their updating and connecting with the U.S. Postal Service and all, so uh, pardon my ignorance there. Uh, again, thank you for your service, and uh, keep me in mind for any future hoodies. I'm also going to send this video to you, sir. Uh, so if you are on Blowout, uh, go ahead and hit him up. Uh, he's got a very nice thread. I sent a couple of people a link to that thread. A lot of nice graded braves and vintage. Um, or if you're uh, not active on the forums, uh, hit him up on uh, eBay or COMC as Count of Paris. Uh, so a link to uh, his uh, Blowout page will be uh, in the description box and you can network from there. Finally, uh, the, so the card that I was looking to get uh, very nondescriptly popped up on eBay, and uh, I, I, I hit up the seller, and we ended up in an email conversation, and uh, we very quickly kind of gauged what the market was going to be for it, and um, worked out a deal that was mutually beneficial for both both of us. Uh, John, uh, so I had a Jonathan and now uh, John. Uh, he goes by Cards Tunes, so both plural, Cards Tunes. Uh, he has some other uh, very nice 2015 Panini Baseball products uh, up, along with uh, a, a very nice commemorative Hank Aaron bat and an actual PSA authenticated Lawrence Timmons game worn full jersey, uh, which is a, an excellent piece. Uh, and he is. Uh, and Timmons is a, is a hell of a player for the Steelers, just thorn in the side of the Colts every time they played each other. But uh, uh, John cr uh, breaks and uh, enjoys collecting a lot of Panini stuff. He actually has the 2015 Donruss Panini Master Set. Uh, base, SPs, inserts, the works. So if you are so inclined that you're interested in, uh, or if there's anything specific from that set, I'm not sure how into breaking it up he would be, but uh, if you're interested in such a thing, uh, it is available now. So uh, he doesn't have it listed, but uh, hit him up for it. And uh, he's looking, f uh, looking for you know, some rare Panini uh, baseball products. We both agree that you know, with, with, even without the license that Panini makes uh, some great value products. Uh, and the, uh, For example, the hobby box of this stuff uh, with two autos and, and I imagine a bunch of color. Uh, MSRP, you're paying about 60 bucks on the open market, and uh, it's a fun break. So, uh, without further ado, as I'm sure you were enticed by the title, might be able to guess what this is. Uh, I did uh, check Beckett. This is the only, so it is a, tr a true one of one in every sense of the word. It is the only Panini uh, made Tim Hudson one of one, and it is. The 2015 Panini Prism Black Finite, one of one. So when I learned he was going to be in the set, I was obviously very excited. Uh, he was in one of the preview galleries, and I understood the like the, the matrix of the set and the, the parallels and variations and whatnot. And uh, this was the target card to get. So there it is. There is a version of this card, the Jeter Parallel to 2, um, just like any other, uh, anyone who would be inclined to perhaps seek a rainbow, uh, you don't consider that until you have at least the two rarest, in some cases three rarest, uh, cards, and then you, you kind of go out from there, otherwise you're going to be bashing your head in the wall. So, uh, I'm not considering you know, a rainbow at this time. I will continue to 
just kind of look to pay what I feel is fair market on uh, any of the other color variations of this card. And should I manage to land one of the versions to two, then so be it. But uh, for now, I am reveling in getting the, the big target card from this set and, and not chasing down and all, ripping all kinds of boxes to try to get it. So, uh, John, I hope you uh, mutually beneficial deal. I enjoyed working with you on it. Uh, great communications. Uh, U.S. Postal is supposed to deliver in two days, and it took three and gave me a mild heart attack. But, you know, seems, seems like an epidemic these days of them just doing whatever the hell they want. So, I appreciate it, sir. So, uh, cards, tunes on eBay. Link is in the description box. Go check them out. I want to thank you, John. Uh, Jonathan, uh, blowout user COE, FOR, CO4, and uh, also known as Count of Paris. And uh, Gary, and uh, DK1 on YouTube for uh, referring me to Gary. So uh, that'll about do it, folks. All right, YouTube. Peace.